This is my first attempt to do hard-boiled eggs using the Instapot AccuSlim. I followed all the directions and, well, the rest will tell the story, I suppose. The temperature is 165 for one hour. Pretty simple to set up. Just set the time, set the temperature, and let it go. It took about 15 minutes for the eggs to get to the right temperature. The result is what I have here. So I cracked the egg open to see how well it was hard-boiled. What I experienced was as I pulled the egg shell off, the egg came with it. Now this was directly out of the Instapot, dried off. So I've had this experience before with uh, doing it, you know, regular way with boiling water. And so um, I did want to show you though what the yolk looked like. I have to say this, the sous vide, one of the great things about it is it does uh, create an, a great texture and a great flavor for the egg. So although the shell didn't come off like I'd hoped because I was going to make deviled eggs, the yolk was excellent tasting. So what I did is I put the eggs into a basically an ice bath. I've done that before and it, it has worked for uh, doing it the traditional way of doing hard boiled eggs where it helps the shell separate from the egg itself. So my hope was that the same process would help with my sous vide preparation. So here I am now after about a half hour of iced bathed eggs to see if that makes the shell any easier to come off. I put the eggs in the ice bath, put them in the refrigerator to cool them down and well, Unfortunately, I pretty much had the same experience getting the shell off of the egg. Did not work out well. Again, the eggs were yummy, but just a real pain. I'm really not sure what the solution is here, if I need to cook the eggs for longer or at a higher temperature, but I will be experimenting later. The key here is this is right out of the box and the way the Instapot sous vide directions uh, tell you to do it. So my experience is that this does not work well for doing hard boiled eggs, but I will try more experiments in the future. Thank you for watching.